Another interesting uh, extension is indent guides. And let me show you how it works. So again, we go to extension manager. And in extension manager, we type indent guides. Now we click install. And once the install is closed, we close over here. And once you have downloaded the extension, you can go over here to view and click over here. You can see indent guides. So you could, you have indent guides. Now I set my ones right away for red, but what you're going to have is probably black. And let me show you where, or gray for that matter. Or, and let me show you where you can actually change the values. So you go over here to debug. And you over here, you can see that uh, open, open uh, preference file, right? So as you open the preference file, you can see that on the left, left, left side, you have this is read only file. Okay, but this is the JSON file where you're going to actually do your changes. So the way you can actually do the changes, you can see over here is the brackets indent guides uh, guide color, right? So I would copy this and actually paste it over here, right? You can see in a JSON file. So let me just make that JSON file a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see that I uh, pasted my indent guides over here. And then over here, you can change the value right now with the quick edit in a bracket. So let's say I would want my color to be green. So I'll do it like this. And then I would save and then I can close this. And now I can see I have them green and you can change multiple values on the indent guides. You can have the, let's say the style, you can have a different style. You can have the hide first. You see, you have a Boolean value to false, but you could actually make it to true. And so these are the options that you can do not only with a with a indent guides, you can also see that once you're in a preference file, that you actually can change the the default font size, the what are what is the font family, and all kinds of stuff. So actually, the brackets JSON file is a very interesting place to work in because you can uh, you can change a lot of settings. Actually, maybe the ones that you cannot access any other way.